Russian occupiers on the Eastern Front are advancing westward towards the Oskol River. In this way, the invaders are likely trying to cut the Ukrainian operational strategic group Kortitsia in half in this area, which will complicate the reinforcement of troops and prevent them from supporting each other. At the same time, as Forbes writes, this is costing the Russians dearly. They captured the village of Pechanoi to the east of the river back in July. Now the occupiers are trying to reach the river near the village of Glushkovka. On Thursday, for example, the enemy launched an offensive with about 100 armored vehicles in three directions, shelling Ukrainian positions north and south of the salient. Ukrainian brigades and battalions, including the 77th Air Mobile Brigade, fought back with drones, artillery and anti-tank missiles. To the south, the line was held by the 92nd Airborne Assault Brigade and the 40th Artillery Brigade is close enough to the Peschani salient to fire on the enemy anywhere in the salient. The invaders suffered heavy losses. The 92nd Brigade reported the destruction of 14 units of equipment, three tanks, five BMP combat vehicles, an unspecified armored personnel carrier, an MTLB armored tractor, three trucks and a golf cart. The 77th Brigade repulsed an enemy attack in its area but did not specify how much equipment was burned. Drone video of the battle showed at least six immobilized and burning vehicles, including armored turtle tanks. Overall, the occupiers lost at least a fifth of their vehicles, which slowed the Russian advance towards the Oskol River and gave local Ukrainian troops time to strengthen their defenses. However, the enemy can still win its battle on this section of the front. The enemy will soon reach the left bank of the Oskol River in the glushkovka kruglaikovka area and divide the Kortitsia bridgehead of the Joint Forces Group on the Oskol River into two parts. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies predicts. At the same time, this could be another Pyrrhic victory for them. They gain certain positions, but at the cost of a large amount of equipment and people who are increasingly difficult to replace. Two consecutive Russian attacks on a medical center in the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy killed at least eight people on Saturday morning, officials said. The first strike killed one person. Russia attacked again while patients and staff were evacuating, said Ukraine's interior minister Iyer Klemenko. Local officials in Sumy said Shahid drones were used in the attack. Eleven other people were wounded, the head of the Sumy City Military Administration, Alexei Drozdenko, said. Sumy lies some 20 miles from Russia's Kursk region, where Ukrainian troops have been deployed since August 6 in a bid to divert the Kremlin's military focus away from the front line in Ukraine. Ukraine's Air Force said it shot down 69 of 73 Russian drones launched overnight as well as two of the four missiles. City authorities in Kiev said around 15 drones had been shot down over the Ukrainian capital and its outskirts. In Krivy Rih, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's home city, local officials said Saturday that a man's body was found under the rubble of an administrative building hit by a Russian missile on Friday, bringing the death toll from that attack to four. In Russia, the defense ministry said Saturday that air defenses overnight had shot down four Ukrainian drones over the Belgorod region and one over the Kursk region, both areas bordering Ukraine. One person was killed in Ukrainian shelling of the Russian border city of Shebekino on Saturday, Belgorod Regional Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said. Two other people were wounded. A private Robinson R-44 helicopter has crashed in Russia's Arkhangelsk Oblast, resulting in the deaths of two men, one of whom is believed to be Sergei Smetanin, a member of Arkhangelsk City Council from the United Russia Political Party. Latvia-based Russian media outlet Meduza and Russia Telegram channels reported this. Reports emerged on September 26 that a helicopter traveling from the village of Bich to the village of Karandashevskia had gone missing and contact with it had been lost. 
On the morning of September 27, Kremlin-aligned Russian news outlet TASS reported that the wreckage of the helicopter had been found, and the bodies of two people had been discovered at the crash site. A criminal case has been opened regarding the incident, with reports stating that the flight had not been authorized. Telegram channels close to law enforcement wrote on September 26 that Sergei Smetanin, a member of Arkhangelsk City Duma from the United Russia Political Party, and local businessman Alexei Semenov, the owner of the helicopter, were on board. Smetanin and Semenov, as reported, were flying to go on a fishing trip, Medusa summarized. After sanctions were imposed on Russia due to its bloody war against Ukraine, there has been an increase in aircraft accidents in Russia. This surge is attributed to a shortage of essential parts that Russia previously used to import from Western countries. At least three people died and six others injured on Friday after a Russian airstrike hit the regional police department in the Ukrainian city of Krivi Rih, officials said. According to State Emergency Service of Ukraine, dozens of residential buildings, including an educational establishment, were damaged by the airstrike. 